Yep, 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 yep. As one Crookshank, you're one and only Move Swiftly speaker checking in for a daily Move Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. Again, you know, it's the last day of this, as of this recording. We are on the last day of July 31st, 2023. And you get that itch, baby. Football, football, football. There's shots being fired, you know, jabs being thrown. You got Coach Payton talking some shit about hacking. You got a Raj, Aaron Rodgers coming back in pain. You know, you know it's football season when you start to see beef and you start to see little shots being taken, little jabs being thrown, and little testosterone starts coming out. A little testosterone starts coming out. So because of all the energy going on, right now when it comes to the the start of the season i got to give you another football story because it was actually a preseason it's a story during the preseason right so this must have been god it must have been i was seventh grade i believe i was in seventh grade i believe i was with 11 12 or 11 years old during that age at, at that age we were i was playing for the brick chaining white oak warriors this is before we moved over to the white oak warriors and the the team that beat us the year before was a team named the Olney Bears. The Olney Bears got up in that ass, or got up in that ass twice the year prior. And one of the missions, the main thing that was on our mind throughout the entire offseason, throughout the entire, from the offseason to the preseason, was we want to tap that ass. We want, we want to return to favor. We need to kick their ass right now. Just so happened that Olney, Olney got caught practicing before i believe it was some violation that they made where they were practicing before they were allowed to and it, it got caught by the league commissioners or whatever and they were not allowed to go to the playoffs so the only thing they had was the regular season so when they played us that was their super bowl right that was their playoffs because they weren't allowed to go to the postseason because of some I, I can't even remember what happened I, I believe they were practicing they got caught practicing earlier some some ridiculous bullshit like that which is why that the next year one of the reasons the next year we actually joined with that only team some of the top players from that only team came to white oak and we moved to pop warren and we went out and won the entire championship the entire pop warren championship that's what made that year so special because the year before they get it they hate they hit him with some real technical bullshit about how they couldn't make the playoffs or whatever right but anyway, they, they, I guess they, I guess they pretty much just said, fuck it. You know, we're already banned from the playoffs. So we're just going to do this because, you know, we ain't got nothing else to lose. We were, it was during a preseason game. It was a scrimmage. It was a scrimmage that year. And I remember because I couldn't play, I couldn't play during that, during the, most of the preseason because my knee was kind of uh, twisted my knee, or bruised my knee or whatever. And Coach Brian wouldn't let me play. <laughs> and I remember it was during the scrimmage where I was watching everything. I was watching everything. I wasn't playing. And I noticed that there was this guy with a camera. I noticed that there was this guy with a camera taping our scrimmage. Now, they were not allowed to do this. This was against the rules, especially youth league stuff. This, this is just the way it was back then when I played. <laughs> and we noticed every single play, the guys there, filming us filming us filming us filming us filming us and i remember <clears throat> saying to one of the dads his name is mr ernest shout out to ernest excuse me ernest reed i remember telling him i was like yo they're filming us like what? they're not allowed to do that can't they get in trouble and then he looks over at me and he goes look as long as we execute when we play them they can film us all day they can film us all day and that that dc again these are the lessons these are the lessons these are the little lessons the little things that you can apply to your life if you execute if you execute if you execute on what it is you need to do for your day throughout your life doesn't matter what your competition does. Your competitors still got to deal with you because you're focusing and executing on your plan. So take that into consideration. Take another football lesson and apply it to your life. To your life. That's one of the things I do a great job at. One of the money-making skills I have is taking the lessons that we've learned from football and applying it to your life. So as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, fuck the competition i'm gonna go out and execute what it is i have to do and then my competition has to deal with me that was the kind of the macro part of what mr ernest was telling me back then and that's something that you can apply to your life today right now as you're listening to me all right dive deeper into my work main website makeyamove.com that's m-a-k-e-y-a-m-o-v-e.com one-stop shop for all your teamwork and your self-development needs. As one Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker checking out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.